Cinema with Liza Johnson, the writer and the director of the movie Return. Um, it's about a female army reservist who just served a tour of duty overseas somewhere in the Middle East. She's kind of returning home and uh, it's her, about her struggle to reconnect with her family and kind of find meaning in her back in her life. And you are also the writer and the director. <laughs> and how did you like? How did you come up with with your idea? What inspired you to create this film? Um, I guess the first, you know, time that I thought of working on this project was when a friend of mine told me about his efforts to stay married when he got back from his military tour. And um, you know, I feel like that our military and civilian worlds are very separate. And so if I were in a military family, I probably would have heard a story like that before, you know, but as a civilian person, I feel like our news is mostly about like policy stuff or statistics about events that have happened, you know, and hearing that kind of intimate account was felt very unfamiliar to me and, and uh, important. And so I started pursuing writing that script and uh, meeting other people And his, it was from a man that you heard it, but you, the story is actually about a woman. Mm -hmm. How did you generate material to write for about women? Was it any different, or? Yes and no. I mean, uh, through him and through other friends, I met a lot of military women. Um, and I guess the first thing that I noticed was that they were very different from one another. So, so um, you know, almost immediately it was clear that there was no such thing as sort of a representative female soldier or a typical military woman, you know, and, and so I tried to meet enough people and hear enough stories that I feel like the character is a plausible person who could exist, but she definitely, it was clear to me that she also had to be her own specific thing because there was no way that she could, you know, account for the whole range of different kind of people that I met, you know. Right, everybody's different. Yeah. <laughs> have some outstanding actors in your film. Uh, Linda Cardellini who plays the main role and Michael Shannon, John Slattery. What was it like working with them and how? what was your process like in creating characters together? It was really, really great. Um, I had the most time to work with Linda because we cast her and then um, we had to spend a little bit more time financing the film before we could shoot. So during that time we were able to talk about the character and uh, Linda did her own research also, um, meeting different people, and, um, and so, you know, we just had a lot of time to build a kind of backstory for her and figure out who we thought she was, you know. Um, and then Michael's days were at the beginning of our shoot, so I felt strongly like that the three of us had a really shared idea about the tone of the world and what everyday life should feel like in that world. and. Um, they're both just really strong actors and, and um, work together really well to build that tone. And uh, so once that was established, then the rest of this amazing ensemble could come in and seem to then understand what that tone should be because it had been established really, I felt really strongly, you know, and, and, uh, and uh, I think it was great to be able to shoot sort of near New York because the, the cast that was available to us is really amazing. You know, John Slattery is a great actor. Talia Balsam is really wonderful. Paul Sparks is really wonderful. And uh, really, there's a lot of depth. Um, Louisa Krauss plays in this film, and Rosie Benton. And there's a lot of just really pretty established actors who were available to you know be in a relatively small role in a small film because um, New York has a lot of awesome actors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a hot spot. <laughs> yeah. You shot in New York, but you were based it on your hometown. Can you just talk a little bit about why you based it in your hometown? Yeah, uh, I grew up in a town in southeastern Ohio that, I mean, probably for everyone where you're from is a meaningful place, you know. And um, uh, it's a, it used to be a steel town, um, and uh, now it has sort of lost its industrial base, which uh, I spent some time working there recently, and I, it was impressive to me to see people kind of, especially young people, really projecting a sense of like how to have a future when there's not an obvious sense of jobs or, you know, no, no one's really presenting that future for them, kind of. 
perspective, and it's very, um, it, you know, there's most of the industrial economy is gone, and now it's really more of a, a kind of a drug economy. Um, and the physical world there looks actually very much like Newburgh, New York. You know, they're both big river towns, like the High River, Hudson River, you know, but, but um, and they're both places where the economy has shifted, and, and uh, so they did have this kind of like uncanny twin quality to each other, um, even though in a lot of ways they're very different. What's, what do you hope audiences take away from this film? Um, Gosh, I mean, I hope that the film would present a possibility for thinking about something that maybe you think you, you already think you know what that is like, or, um, you know, that I hope it might allow audiences to sort of feel certain facts or phenomena in a new way. And I try not to be super directive about what that is, you know, like I think that it, um, I hope it stages a, a ground for thinking about a different kind of story or a certain kind of world. And um, and I, on some level, it's important to me to leave some of that up to the audience. You know what I mean? Like, so that some of the new thoughts or feelings should come from that. What it, what's up next on your plate? What can we expect to see next from you? Um, next, I'm directing a feature that I didn't write. Um, it's based on the Alice Munro story. And adapted by uh, also a lovely literary writer is um, Mark Fortier. And um, it's uh, also a big performance lead for someone we're casting right now. And it's uh, also, like most of Alice Monroe's work, it's really set in the thick of everyday life. And so it's very, it has a really strong sense of drama and forward motion and things that happen. But it, it uh, you can see some threads of return in it just because it, still feels like it could be in your kitchen. Mm. Cool. And then, this is my favorite question. <laughs> um, if you were to write and or direct a movie about your own life, what oh would you call gosh. it? <laughs> what would you call it? And who would play you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is not my favorite question. <laughs> um, I, I really just don't know how to answer that. Um, at this point in time, what would you call it? I'm really sorry, I don't know if I can answer that word. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to disappoint That's you. okay. Maybe I should call it disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know how to answer that, but um, okay. I decline. Okay. I abstain. <laughs> I take the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> All right, that's okay. <laughs> well, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thanks. Let's, again, it's Liza Johnson, writer and director of Return which is now playing at the Village East Cinema in New York. Thank you. Thank you.